The molar analysis of a gas mixture is 40% nitrogen, 50% CO2, and 10% methane. Given a temperature and pressure of that gas mixture, determine the mixture molar mass. Then determine the analysis in terms of a mass fractions. Then determine the partial pressure of each component. And then determine, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So we'll take it one step at a time. What's the recommended practice when you have these mixtures like this? Use a table. And so in the table, uh, come in and uh, create a column. What I'm going to do is let you write down some of this information, then I'm going to do it in Excel because it's just so much easier for me. And it's cleaner. You can see it, okay? I would just make a table like this, a component. We have nitrogen. We have carbon dioxide. I misspelled that, CO2. And we have methane. And might as well put molar mass in units of kilograms per kilomole. It's uh, 28.01, it's 44.01, and 16.04. Now, in this problem, they gave us the mole fractions on a mole basis. Let me clean up this table a little bit. Make it centered, make it bold, maybe increase the width there. There we go. So it's uh, 40% and it's 50% carbon dioxide and 10% methane. That's just our mixture. Now, what I like to do is, is I'm trying to get over toward mass fraction. I want the, the average or the molar mass of this mixture. So I'll assume that there's one kilomole total of the gas. If there's one kilomole total of the gas and the mole fraction is 40% of nitrogen, how many moles or kilomoles of nitrogen are there? This almost seems too silly, 0.4. So I'm assuming that the sum here is 1, and lo and behold, it is 1. So uh, let me try and repeat that. They gave me Y. I'll assume that there's one total kilomole of the gas. Hence, I know that there's 0.4 kilomoles of nitrogen, 0.5 of CO2, and 0.1 of CH4. Now that I know how many moles there are, what is the mass in kilogram of 0.4 kilomoles of nitrogen? Is it that? Sure. And so it's 11.204. I'll just drag that down. So I have 11 kilograms of nitrogen, 22 kilograms of CO2, and 1.6 kilogram of methane. If I sum that up, what does that tell me? The total mass of a mixture. Now, if I come down here and I say, what is the, um, the parent molar mass of the mixture? You know, some, something like that, M of the mixture. Okay, would it be the amount in kilograms divided by the amount in kilomoles? And would that give me the units of kilograms per kilomole? The same units as all of these molar masses? So this is our first answer for part A. Box it, color it, make it look pretty. Call that answer to part A. So too many digits, just move it over a little bit. There's four digits. So for this mixture, if I have one kilomole of the mixture, I'll have 34.81 kilograms. The next thing it said was the mass fraction. So I need the mass fraction for this mixture. Well, the mass fraction is for the nitrogen is going to be this many kilograms of nitrogen per that many kilograms of the total mixture, true? Now, I'm going to drag that down, so I'm going to put a dollar sign there so it fixes F8 doesn't change. So I drag this down. And I see that I can put it in percentages. So my mass fraction is 32% of nitrogen. 63.2% is CO2. And 4.6% is methane. Just as a check, do this. Do the sum of those. They better add up to 100%. And they do. Over here for the Ys, we could have made them look a little prettier. And then double check that the sum of those is equal to 100% as well. The sum of the 
mole fractions has to be 100%, the sum of the mass fractions has to be 100%. But this is the answer to part B. What were the mass fractions? Let's jump back to the question. It said, determine the analysis in terms of mass fractions. Now, what about the partial pressure of each component? Using Dalton's law of concept of partial pressures and that the uh, total pressure multiplied by Y is the partial pressure. So the partial pressure in kilopascal, we want to calculate that. Let me try this kilo. I like to put the correct, you know, sometimes I don't do it, but the kilo is lowercase k. The pascal is uppercase P followed by lowercase a. True? So that's the best way to do it. We need to know the total pressure. And uh, what was the total pressure? 100 kPa? And might as well put the temperature. And the temperature was 300 Kelvin. Oops. Auto correct or auto finish. They tried to think, they thought it was kilopascal. So the, if I want to know the partial pressure of the nitrogen in this mixture, it's the total pressure times Y. True. So we'll just lock in C1 so it doesn't change, and then we'll drag this down. If I do a sum of all of these partial pressures, guess what it should be? Back to the total pressure, 100 kilopascal. So this is all box it, color it, and that's the answer to part C. True? Now, what was the last part? It said, uh, if I have so many kilomoles, it said, look, at, you're given N to be equal to 1.5 kilomoles of that gas mixture. What volume does it occupy? The volume it occupies in cubic meter. That's the question. So how would you solve for that? Use the ideal gas equation, which is N times R bar, 8.314, times the temperature divided by the pressure. Does that give you the volume? And so the volume would be this many cubic meters. And box it, color it. There you go. Then the last question was not that so many N was given, but M is given. If the mass is a different problem now, then it says it's 10 kilograms. What is the volume occupied by 10 kilograms? Just use the other form on the mass basis. So the volume in units of meters cubed will be equal to the total mass times the gas constant, which is R bar divided by the molar mass of the gas. So R bar, 8.314, divided by the molar mass of the gas mixture. Now multiply that by temperature and divide by the pressure. And it's the answer is right there. You could have said, well, that's that seems more convoluted than I like. Um, why don't I do this? Why don't I take and just calculate the number of moles that 10 kilograms gives me, right? Well, that'll be 10 kilograms divided by the molar mass of the mixture. So this is how many kilomoles 10 kilograms gives me. Then I'm best back to how I solved for this one right here, true? So that volume was equal to the number of moles times R bar, 8.314, times the temperature, divided by the pressure. And you kind of went in a circle, but you got the same answer, true? And get rid of the color here. No fill there. But this is just a check. So that was the answer to part uh, D and the answer to part E.